and just have this as sort of like a cavalry strike force. You know what? I'm going to do it. You can have a couple more Roman troops. You could do with another unit of slingers too, so... Uh, Thracians or Galatians? Do they have any noticeable difference? They do not. Alright, well you can have the... Galatians. Um, is there anything I want from him? Not really. Imperator. Yeah, not really. Uh, do you have any spots? You do. You can do with some more infantry yourself. So you can have this fellow. And we'll prop up public order over here. And we'll take these cavalry. Okay, now we have a cavalry uh, relief force. They won't be fantastic because cavalry is a great deal weaker in this game than it is in um, the base vanilla game, but cavalry is still good. Now we will get, attack this guy, we'll get rid of him. We should have the movement points to get back on that bridge. I really hope we do, because if we don't, we're in a bit of a pickle. But this should be a fairly easy battle. Fairly cut and dry, because these guys don't really have anything. I might see if I've got some infantry that I can swap from um, Sinope for the cavalry that we have, because that army camping out on a bridge does not need cavalry. Not really. There stands the army of the Seleucid King, proud and confident to a man. But they die like anyone else, so do not fear them. Okay, we won't. They have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter. We outnumber them comfortably, but that should not be seen as an excuse not to fight hard. Why let your brother carry your burden? Because he's stronger? I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. Now then, look to your front. Mark your target when it comes! Hell yeah! So we have a major advantage here, apart from the fact that we outnumber them by about a bajillion to one. We have archers and they don't. So let's put all of these guys into one unit. These guys hold this flank. These guys hold the other. You can see also that I'm not worried too much about formation either, because we're facing an enemy army that can't possibly win. They probably won't even cause significant casualties. Provided we do this right, because I'm fairly certain that they can't retreat anymore. They don't have anywhere else to retreat to. Uh, you guys can go there. The cavalry. You guys can hang out at the back. All right, let's go. Okay, they're basically just up the hill. This should be a fairly quick battle. I mean, all we're really doing is advancing up a hill, and then we're going to shoot at them. Alright, keep running. Keep running. What I might do, though, is I might put these guys in front. Actually, no. Fuck it. Just shoot over their heads. Hopefully they will actually shoot over their heads. We put everyone to fire at will, because there's not really much point holding on to ammunition that we don't need. Okay, yeah, we're causing a few casualties of our own men, I think. Charge them in the side. Oh, look at that. They're running. Swordsman, get moving. Really? It's not your cleverest move ever. Alright, chase them. Cavalry, let's go. Move 
charge. Cavalry, get up here. Everybody here, attack them. Except you guys, keep chasing. You guys, keep chasing. Cavalry, go round. I do hope you weren't planning on charging into those pikes, you idiots. God damn it. This cavalry. Sometimes I wonder. Alright, let's smack these sons of bitches. Charge. And kill the rest of those guys. Alright, turn around. Attack these fellows. General is dead. Continue the battle because fuck these fellows. Alright, there we go. Murdered. Kill the rest of those guys. Nice. Alright. Clearly one victory. We lost technically no percent. We lost 12 men. 12 men. Nice. And we got four of them back, I think. <laughs> oh god, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. This game. Sometimes this game. Though I think uh Bibulus has a surgeon, if I remember correctly. I gave him one. Now, please tell me you've got enough points to get back. You do. Perfect. Oh, no, he has no retinue whatsoever. Could have sworn I gave him some. Apparently not. Well, do you have any that he can borrow? Do you have any that you don't really need that he would be better off having? No, no. No, no, no. Pretty much nothing. Okay. Well, that's fair enough then. Uh, these guys, I would like to borrow them for this legion. And I think I will. I'll borrow at least some of them. I think I'll take both Cretan archers and both Rhodians. And we'll just march them down this way. Okay, they can't quite make it this turn, but they might get dragged in as reinforcements if he's attacked on that bridge. Now, you people are not very happy about that one. But I think I saw some mercenaries up in this area, so go out on a fact-finding expedition. Okay, I saw a mercenary peltists. Maybe it's him. Yeah, you've got some. Okay, let's send this Galatian noble cav back over here, because we don't need it anyway. And it frees up a unit spot. So let's grab some eastern mercenaries. Might even grab him a mercenary captain if he does it enough times. I'll grab some... Actually, no, we'll just grab some of these fellas. There we go. There's a unit of Sarmatians that I want. But I think I'll send them to a different army. Maybe this one? For now, I'll park them... Mm hmm. Do I want to send them over... Yes, I'll put them over here with this army, because at least then the uh, this general attacks we can help out a little bit. And we'll grab those slingers too. Alright, everybody get in there. Perfect! Now they're happy. They're kind of pissed because we've been destroying shit. I'm pretty sure we destroyed all the temples here. Yeah, we did. So, it's understandable that they are annoyed with us. I can, I can see why they would be. I do not blame them. Now, do I want to grab that cavalry back, or do I want to grab unit of infantry. I think I want a unit of infantry. Do I have anything? Eh. Problem is that these guys are kind of experienced, but if I merge them with anybody, they lose some of that experience. I won't worry about it for now. They're actually pretty good. Um, actually, I should have probably kept those slingers for myself. Yes, actually, because on a bridge, slingers are very important, and those ones are silvers, so we'll grab them. 
Okay, now I think we're ready. I would like to destroy this guy. Actually, are you guys out of movement or are you just not able to make it because of... I think they're out of movement proper. I don't have any missile cav here. I guess I could borrow his missile cav. The, the thing that I'm worried about Anaximander doing is that he'll decide that he wants to... Okay, well, he's stuck there now. I guess I could send Sabinus out after him. Oh, he actually has soldiers. Well, in that case, no, I would not want to send Sabinus out after him. But we'll quick save it there, and we'll end turn and see what that brings. What does it bring? Oh, hi. This is my bridge of death. <laughs> Your 4,000 men are so fucked. Unless you have a really, really good army. No, no, you don't. I'm not entirely sure what prompted that decision, but it wasn't being clever. I think the reason the odds are so massively stacked against us, apart from the fact that he outnumbers us, is because uh, Bibulus only has two command stars to his six. Actually, let's have a look at this general. Is he good at anything? He's a confident commander. He's sharp, he's publicly loyal, he's rather lazy, and a night fighter. But he's not actually a confident commander or anything like that. He's just lucky in that he's got a lot of command stars. But we're lucky in that we're defending a bridge. If you guys want to throw these men at me piecemeal, I will be happy to oblige you. Now, I really hope I didn't forget anything. I don't think I did, but... We will know at the end of this turn, after this whole battle thing. Let's let him have his speech. He's gonna be he's gonna be in command of a bridge fight. He's going to win glorious renown. No reason to change the habits of a lifetime today. Today we march against the loathsome and horrid Seleucid army. Their practices against the defeated are so terrible that I cannot bring myself to speak. They will try to cross the river, but we must stop them. There are more of them. Then there are of us. So be it. We will fight like lions instead of men. That's the spirit. We may be able to hide men in the woods nearby. With luck, that would be a surprise for our foes. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different. So lay into them with a will. Hooray. So, I'm hoping that what we got... So, oh. let your battle yes, you finish. be victory. Victory and glory to Rome! With many capitals, so that everybody knows exactly how important it is. So I'm hoping that what we got was a map that does not have a ford. If it does, we could be in a bit of trouble. I don't see one down this way. So I think we're safe. Occasionally you'll get maps that have... Ah, oh, there's one, I think. It's inaccessible, but... No? Okay, well, essentially, fords are just bridge crossings without the bridge. And if you're defending a bridge, your main... Your main defensive tactic is to hold the bridge. Naturally. So, you're in a bit of trouble if the enemy can flank you, because generally the reason you choose to hold a bridge is because you've got a smaller army, and they have a massively larger one that can really fuck you up. I will put our big groups of Roman troops together. They can stand there. I'm going to put the hoplites right there on that hill. We're going to park them right in the way. I'm glad I kept these slingers now. Let's grab all of these guys. I'm a bit worried though about the frame rate because this is going to this is going to be a big battle. There's going to be about 6,000 men on the field. Uh, you can go in with group one. Line up like that. They're going to stand behind, basically, and these guys are going to stand over to the side. They're going to be our reserve, sort of. These guys, no, not you, 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 and you, are going to be behind these guys. And these fellas, you're going to be the reserve on this side, so that if we need to, we can charge in from behind the archers. You're not really going to have a use, so I'm going to just camp him out there because he'll at least be able to use his rally cry just in case it looks like we're going to break. So, 
First things first. You, bridge. You guys behind them on bridge. Like that, I think. You can fire at will. These guys can stand just behind. Yeah, here they come. You need to just be over here. Alright, so what do they send forward first? Certian Spearmen. We should be able to fight them fairly well. I'm going to put these guys in guard mode just to see if it helps them hold the line. I don't know if it will, but it would be nice to think that it would. Alright, charge. Need to prevent our hoplites from getting overwhelmed. Some of these guys are broken already, though. Like, they're routing into us. The general's right there, so if we can kill him quickly, we've got this one. Yeah, my frame rate is, like, it's, it's dying. Slowly, slowly dying. I'm gonna stop these guys from shooting. Actually, no, I'll, I'll keep them firing because we need them to be causing casualties. Wow, that's brutal. So where is the general himself? I thought I saw him a minute ago. I could have been imagining it. Alright, you guys need to get in there. Charge. You guys can stop firing now. Except at those rearmost units. Yeah, fire at the rear units. Wow, what the hell just happened in there? I think they're fighting their way out. Yeah, I think they might actually be fighting their way through our formation. We need to kill that general now. He needs to die. Luckily, all they're doing is forming a pocket far deeper in our men, and is when they break, they're all going to break. So I'm okay with this. You guys need to stop. The enemy general is running away. Okay, he's running. He should be running toward us. So we should be able to kill him. Alright, there he goes. Now, we want to form a way out for these guys so that they run instead of trying to kill us all. We want to leave them an exit because otherwise they will fight and fight to the death. And that would be a very, very bad plan. So, we'll let some of them out. You should have a way out now. Why do you not have a way out? Because this unit's being silly. Alright, move. There we go. No? We're not really getting... Yeah, we're not really giving them a way out, are we? Fuck it. Just kill them. Occasionally, you'd be able to get it, so... Hang on, is that, like, one Roman guy just hanging out at the back? Yeah, there's a couple of Roman dudes just hanging out at the back here. Uh, you would occasionally be able to get it, so you could just have them fight their way out. And they'd, they'd just run. Problem is, there's so many units all mixed up right there that they're, like, they're, they're impossible to just let out. Oh well, they're down, yeah, they're down to a last little pocket of resistance anyway, so just get in there, kill them. And that is how an army dies. No, finish killing them.
The enemy is completely and utterly crushed. So we lost 140 odd men. Yeah, we didn't really get many of them back. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. If we'd had a surgeon, we would have got so many guys back from that. But it's okay. Most of the casualties were over our, uh, our mercenary troops anyway, it looks like. Although these Prinkapes took a beating. But I think there was a spare unit of Prinkapes sitting in them. Sinope anyway, so we can just merge them up and we'll be good. Wow, one unit has 954 kills to its name. That is impressive. Well done. Well done indeed.